Are you sure this is your test? Well, I don't live with a whole group of females who just leave their pregnancy tests around, so yeah, I'm pretty sure that it's mine. The next thing is, is that I was talking to Meg yesterday and she told me that if I want a midwife, I have to call right away. So I'm like, okay, I'm only at, well, yesterday, I was only at 11 DPO. So I phoned around to three midwife clinics that are kind of like in my general area. And all three of them said that the first couple of weeks of October were already looking too full. When did people find out that they were pregnant in order to book up the first two weeks of October already? That's crazy. Unless someone's planning on having an exceptionally long pregnancy or somebody found out at like four DPO, like how did they fill up so fast? So I left my name on a waiting list for all of them. And I actually today got a call back from one of them who didn't really give me any options. They were just like, okay, so your midwife's name is Sapita and you'll be seeing her at 4.30 p.m. on Wednesday, the 21st of March. And I just booked it and didn't argue with them because I was like, I'll just deal with that later. Depending on how I feel about the other people that called that actually gave me an appointment. Uh, it's like a multiple appointment. They're giving it to three couples and it's gonna be on Thursday the 2nd of February and so that's just kind of like a meet and greet and then I guess they're gonna discuss whether or not they have midwives for us so that's on Thursday the 2nd and then the third place was like well we'll put you on a waiting list but don't expect to hear from us so but she said it nicely so that was okay hello, hello. hey so that's Alex I'm vlogging ew. what do you mean ew so that was kind of like yesterday and today. And then today I actually got, um, by the advice of Meg, again, this book. Ew. Just come sit. What's wrong? What's ew? Oh, I got stuff all over my pants. Oh, take those off and then come sit. And then... I'm included. You're not... Just come sit. Um, yeah, and then I have this book. Oh, gross. But... <laughs> this That's, book... She's like... Oh, it's like she's powerlifting a child out of the vagina. It was gross. So then I have this book, which Starling. nobody likes, um, which my friend actually gave me like six and months you ago. You with that book, and he was sad. Which my friend actually gave me like six months ago. Um, I think it's like a disgusting. It's not gross. disgusting. It's disgusting. Those everybody pictures okay, need to be drawn, not taking photographs of. Everybody doesn't like this book because it's gross. there's a lot of like pictures in the book Bloody and vaginas. my stop. Sorry, first you have to promise me. because first you have to promise <laughs> that no matter what I tell you, you're still gonna be my friend. Oh God. <laughs> I promise. You promise? I promise. This is really not good. No, it is. Oh my god! <laughs> and I was gonna ask in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that crazy? <laughs>